So we have three venues in London, Earls Court, Olympia and here at the brewery. All the buildings are old and listed and despite refurbishments and updating the facilities and systems, they're complicated and not as straightforward to use as modern buildings are. But we like to think they have a little bit more character. At ECNO, we have been working with our local community for many years and we have strong residence groups and support local initiatives. We have had a staff values program in place for several years and have links with uh, charities and a charitable fund in place. And in 2003, we started to look at our environmental management. To be honest, initially it was a cost-driven exercise after we looked at the amount of rubbish that we were sending to landfill every year. But it then developed from there and we started to put in place a number of other initiatives, including recycling, energy management systems, awareness programmes and water reduction measures. It was felt that this was really important um, to, to make some real change um, to sustainability of the industry uh, as a whole. Some organisers are already looking at the way that they manage their events, and for others, the standard will give them the roadmap that they can begin to manage their sustainability. And others just aren't even ready to begin to think about making changes yet. So accreditation to BS 8901 may encourage suppliers to make changes to the way they operate. It could give them, or give us even, a competitive advantage so that we can see some real improvements to the industry in the future. We believe that this is a really positive tool to improve sustainability and we wanted to ensure that it worked for venues and in particular we wanted to make sure it worked for our venues. So we decided to trial it but we decided to trial it just at Olympia rather than rolling it out across the three venues and as soon as the launch we will now, as from tomorrow, we will be starting to look to integrate the management systems across all three of our venues. During the trial, the most important thing to do was to integrate the standard into our existing procedures. This was pretty straightforward, and we simply started to look at each of the ways we communicate with our clients, from the moment that they showed an interest in the venues, all the way through to the debrief at the end of the event, and to ensure that we considered sustainability in every stage. By doing this, by looking at these procedures, it's been very easy for us to identify um, some of the changes that we could make. An example of this was enforcing our um, additional waste charges. Nothing stops people leaving extra waste at the venues like a big bill at the end, so that's been very effective. It's not rocket science. Some of the, the biggest issues we face are um, energy usage, waste, and staff training or staff awareness. Which, uh, which for us, as our, our staff uh, knows very generally, none of us really know that, that uh, great deal about sustainability. And beginning an education programme for our staff is really taking us forward with them coming back to us with ideas. We are looking to develop these um, key performance indicators to include a, um, a number of, to perhaps include things like the number of organisers we are working with who are following the standard, the number of cars parked in our car parks, um, uh, perhaps the number of travel miles that we make um, on our business. And we're also developing our own maturity matrix, um, something that is, is actually part of the standard, but does give us that um, ability to track how well we're doing.